It's a duffel bag. And it's so heavy, dude. What? what? Bro. What? Bro. I can't see. I can't see. Oh my gosh. Dude. It's filled with No jewelry. way. All right. Let's do this. We are about to go meet up with Danny. And we're going to go do some magnet fishing at a spot where, if you guys remember this spot, I actually know, some of you guys have to know this spot. This is the spot where we found all these guns, guys. We've literally found five guns at this spot. This spot is literally ridiculous. There's so much stuff here, and I'm super excited to go back to this spot. We've been more, we haven't been there in a few months, so we are ready to go back, and we got a feeling that we are gonna find some stuff there today. Also, I'm just gonna apologize in advance. I was about up till two in the morning last night getting some editing done, so we might be a little bit. I just have one of these in my system. Just, just keep that in mind for today's energy of the video, so yeah. If you guys are interested in getting into magnet fishing, now is the time to do it. Battle Magnets is running the Black Friday sale. All you have to do is type in code Black Friday at checkout for 10% off a magnet. So if you get one to get into it, now is the time. The link is in the description. Enough rambling. Let's go meet up with Danny and let's go do some magnet fishing. By the way, before we get into magnet fishing, if you guys want to do me a favor, go follow my Instagram right here. I have an Instagram. Go give it a follow. All right, I'll see you guys at Danny's. We just made it down to the spot. The memories are all coming back here. It is crazy. The amount of videos we have filmed at this spot is absolutely ridiculous, man. Hopefully we can still find some stuff today. I don't want to talk too long because I just want to start magnet fishing. Like I'm super excited. All right, I'm just gonna start magnet fishing. Let's do this boys. Oh, we got something on there. Oh man, we got a socket. Oh yeah, there we go. We haven't found a socket in a really long time, but I don't know if you guys have seen any videos from here, but we've oh, literally, oh really? We've literally found a million of these sockets here. Oh, you got something? Oh yeah, you got a bolt? That wasn't okay. a big thing though, but. Now we're yeah, starting to get back in the part. swing of things. Oh, daddy has got something. Yo, get it up, get it up. Dude, it's like a panel. There we go. Oh. <laughs> That's part Dang. of a truck tailgate is it? or something. Yeah. Yo, a piece of a truck tailgate, dude. <laughs> like the like the inside part where the where the handle would be on the outside would be. The oh one. yeah. So that way you could get to the little arm side. <laughs> dude, that is that awesome. Is Guys, I am still feeling some really big stuff down there. Do you see that? Yeah. Dude, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's <gasps> no! It yes, it just fell Dang. off. No, guys, I just had something huge. Look at all those bubbles. Look at all those bubbles right there. No, that was huge, dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, what is this? That. We got a wrench and a socket on that throw. Dang. Why is it square, though? You see that? Yeah. Dude, it's a square wrench. Square that is weird looking. Oh, it's probably for nut, like those square nuts. Yeah. That would make some sense. Oh, there we go. And we got ourselves a little socket, of course. And a little jig head. Oh, is that a bullet? Oh, part of a bullet. Oh, there we go. There we go. We haven't guys. found a bullet in a while. No. All right, guys. So I forgot my claw. So Danny is going back to the car, and he is grabbing his. We are working on this big thing. The thing is, we can lift it up, but it's lifting up like this. We can only get one side. So we figured if we can lift it up like this, one person can hold it up here with the magnet. Another person can drop their rope down there with the claw and try to get under it and hook it like that and then pull it up. Oh, we got something. Get up here. What is this? We got a... Uh, I have no idea. What the heck is this thing? I don't know. That is weird looking. That was so far in the mud, though. Like, it literally was covered in mud. I had to rip it out. Dang. I don't know what that is. Weird. Dang, that's a big worm. <laughs> big oh little trick worm. Jeez. Yo, what the? All right, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. Guys, we see it. We see it. We see it. It's the, it's the bed to a truck, dude. Yo. Holy crap. Can you get your right. hand on it, buddy? Yeah. Do you want the rope or? Oh, we, you got it good. All right, three, two. Oh, no, no, it might pop out. It might pop oh. out. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, let all that water dude, that's out. why we couldn't get it. Mm. Yo. <laughs> this has dude. to be that thing we were messing Yeah. With. And this has to be it. Dude, look at this. Ooh. It's the whole bed to a truck. Yo. Freaking tailgate. Dude. That is isn't. There's a catfish in there. There's a catfish, there's in, a catfish there. in there. I swear there's a catfish in there. I'm not even joking. Here, hold this up. Dude. Okay. This throw, the, is throw the claw in there so he doesn't come out. This has never happened to us, but it's happened to us twice in like five trips. That is crazy. Let's see if there's a <laughs> hole he can come out of. Well, we got to like tip it up. 
Yo, whoa, that one's kind of dude. He's that's not, that's that's a not. big one. Get him out, dude. <laughs> Guys, we caught a catfish. Hey, we got a <laughs> we got a new PB. Look at that eye right there, though. Oh yeah, Tater Stick ain't playing. <laughs> Guys, he'd be staring. We got a new personal best magnet fishing fish <laughs> right there. He's a little bit bigger than the last one we found. All right. But yeah, we, we got to get rid of this. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye, bye, buddy. Yes. What if there's a bunch of them in there? Yeah, I know. Now we got to look. No wonder why we couldn't get it with a magnet. Because there's a catfish in it, making it all heavy. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> that is all. It was a Ford. Look. It's a Dang. Ford. I knew it. Dang, knew man. It. That's, that's huge, too. That's probably going to be the best find we find here. Look at that. A whole tailgate to a truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. Come on, don't fall off. I'll be ready with the grab. It's trying to dance on me. It's trying to dance? It's trying to dance. Oh, what the heck it is dancing? Yo, what the heck is... Dude, it's, it's a it's duffel a, bag. It's a bag. It's the duffel bag. It's a duffel bag. Here. Oh, shit, we oh no, 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 no. Do not rip that. It is so heavy, dude. I bet you there's a bowling ball in there. Yeah, that's I what bet I'm, you there's a bowling ball in there. It looks like a bowling there. ball bag. <laughs> All right, let's see what is in the duffel bag. Okay. You ready? All right, gang, let's see what's inside. All right, let's open it. It is a, what the? It's so pretty. Dude, that's not a bowling ball. I don't know what it is. I don't want to stick my hand Dude, I don't there, either. But I will. What the? Here, do you want to drain the water out first? Yo, there's a rock in there. They sunk that on purpose. Yo. We got to look through this thoroughly. There could be. Yo. What is that? There's something in that bag, dude. Is that a... I think that's a camera lens, dude. Here, Holy crap. It? That is, dude! Oh, oh. Someone, st someone stole a camera and just ditched it. Oh, I'll reach in there. Yeah, that's definitely a rock. I feel other stuff in there, too. Yeah, so they sunk oh, that on purpose. Yeah, so there was a rock. Dude. No, don't put it out. Okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting the water up. <laughs> what the heck was that? Looks okay. like a glasses case, okay, maybe. It's the same brand. Case. There's got this got to be another lens. Yeah, just set it inside. Yeah, let's we'll see, let's it see it what's the in side. there. Yo. What the? Dude, this is weird stuff. Wait. Oh, <gasps> dude. That's a jewelry box. What up, B-roll? Look at that. Smooth. It actually looks really pretty. What is that? piece of broken glass or something. I'm gonna throw it back in there. I'm kind of disappointed there's not a camera in here yet. I know. I'm not gonna Well, lie. I mean, this is like, I feel like there's there's a, there, there's another pocket. There's there, another pocket. There's stuff in this pocket. Which one? Here, take that for a second. <sighs> what? what? Bro. What? Bro. I can't see, I can't see. Oh my gosh, dude. It's filled with No jewelry. way. I'll, I'll take, I'll just take this back. There dude, you go. no way. Look at this. Oh my, it's filled. Dude, watch, dude. Oh my, All right, guys. oh my god, dude, guys, oh my god, look at that. Danny, 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 All that jewelry. oh my gosh, dude, no way, no way, oh okay, my dude, Lord. oh my gosh, Danny, okay. this is actually insane, guys, I found jewelry right, before, but we didn't find this much, this whole freaking front pocket is full of jewelry, oh my gosh, yo, Daddy, that's yo. crazy. That's crazy. Before we get kicked out again, we're just gonna go ahead and take that stuff and go. We're gonna get so our I'm gonna, I'm gonna now, see y'all over there. <laughs> we just made it back to Danny's house and we have the jewelry. We got everything all set up that we need right here. This is the box right here. Danny's got a little strainer. We're gonna rinse it off. Dude, this entire thing is full of jewelry, lenses, and there's gotta be something else in there because this thing is so heavy. And that's just the jewelry pu we pulled out of the pocket. You can't even really see in there. All right, yeah, dude, and let's then, do it. So we're gonna wash it off first is what we're doing here. Yeah, we're putting everything right here. Let's put that there. That That is what gets me interested. Do you just wanna dump that out? Yeah. You didn't even look in there. There's there, a, so there's two ring boxes. There's another ring box. There's another there ring box. There is another one in there? Yo. Dude, how, we can put these to the side because we're gonna have to cut these open. I don't know what that is. Nah. See, that's what I saw that was like, it felt, is it feel like there's stuff there's in there? There's something in it. There is? All right, and there's the camera lens we think. No, there's a, that's another camera lens because the other one I took the cap off. There's another camera ring lens. box. Dude. Camera lens. I just kind of want to get this main yeah, pocket just, empty before we go to the side pocket. Yeah. Taking a knife, ring box, and let's see what is inside of here, yeah. if possible. Ready, All right, guys, ready? let's ready? see what's inside. Oh! Uh, wait. Wait. Oh, is Absolutely it empty? Man, nothing. I hope they're not all empty. So there's one box. That's there's empty. one box down. Anything? Anything? Empty, empty, empty. Let's take a look. Oh. oh. 
you could see where the ring was supposed to be. Yeah, so we're just yeah, cutting it open. No, ain't no reason to play with it. Yeah, because there is, guys, there is like an insane amount of stuff in there. Like, there's probably close to 50 pieces. I'm just waiting to see a gun in there. So great. We're pulling, Dude, we're pulling look at out. how much there is. We're just pouring out a bag of freaking jewelry. Dude, there's money in there. These are old coins. Oh. It's like a military coin. Like, Oh, is it really? Like some generals or some units will give them to you. They'll be like, hey, thank you for being in the military for three years. Here's a small little piece of metal. Look at this. <laughs> Offering something. Dude, that is insane. Look at oh all the my god. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my god. Yo. Dude. What the heck? Look at all. A lot of it's like cheap yeah. little jewelry. Like yeah. those little beads and stuff. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so much. So much stuff, yo, yo, oh my, Danny, God. that is so much stuff. It is ridiculous, dude. There's a dog tag. Yeah, dang. Wait, is there a name on it? Is there a name on it? Or is it just like one of those fake ones? All right, guys, we might have a lead. Guys, we might have a dog tag here. That has to be French. Man. Elliot. Elliot Walters. This is like some old, old, old dog tag. Like yeah. Mine were not anything like this. That is crazy. It's all some like old ladies jewelry. Yeah, that's <laughs> like literally what this is. Look yeah. at this is a pin. It's a train and pin. And then there's some more money right Dude, there. There's, is, a, there's is, a couple. Is that of, currency? It's uh, it's French money, I believe. Oh, it is? A franc. A franc? A franc. A franc. Here's a broken watch. We got something right there in a bag. Oh, yeah. Dang, bro. Now, I a, a lot of this stuff does look a little fake, but like some of the heavier stuff, I'm gonna throw it on the magnet. Precious metals are not magnetic, so if any gold or anything is in here, it will not stick to the magnet. Okay, that is like 0% magnetic right there. Let's try. Ooh, that's heavy and that that's like, all right, that is 0% magnetic. Dude, that's, that's also really heavy. Let's, let's do it this way. Yeah, so a lot of the necklaces, we should have a separate bucket. A lot of the necklaces are magnetic, but a lot of these, like... That owl, though, that's actually kind of cool. Look at that. There's three little opals in there. Is We are definitely going to take all of this jewelry, and we're going to find a pawn shop that is going to let us bring you guys in there, and we're going to get their appraisal on this, just to see what they think this is like. this could be worth. Because, guys, there is literally... Like, how many pounds of jewelry do you think that is, Danny? A couple pounds. Yeah, at least a couple pounds of jewelry. And it only takes one of them small pieces to be worth, like, $10,000 or something crazy. Something crazy could come of this. So what I want you guys to do right now is comment down below how much money worth of jewelry you think this is. So with some further looking through the jewelry, we found an address, a phone number, and an age and a date and a name all on this little dog tag thing. Walter Elliott is yeah. his name. And there's a phone number on there too, but I don't know the area code my for it. Dead. What are the odds? I got my phone. Well, I don't have Facebook. I don't, I don't have Facebook on my other phone. Okay, what, what's the what's the area code for uh, Florida? We're gonna try to get this back to this dude because like this is like a lot of stuff. And he was born in 61, which means there's a good chance he's still alive. For reference, we are in North Carolina. Everything on there that has a, like an address, it's all coming back to Florida. And we're in North Carolina. So if this got ditched in North Carolina, and we can get this dude back his jewelry, and some of this is definitely, I could see this being sentimental, because there are some pictures, there's like some unique religious pieces in here, and like, like war medals. Like, dude, this could be, this could be, if we can get this back to him, this might mean a lot to this dude. I'm gonna call like every area code that is in Florida in front of this number that is on this thing. I'm gonna try to get in contact with this dude. Because there's a couple ways we might be able to find this dude. Danny's gonna try to look him up on Facebook. There is a chance that we can find this dude. Oh my gosh. It's ringing. And thank you for calling. Please listen carefully and hold for additional information as the number you dialed has changed. Day. I got excited guys, so I, I'm literally at home. I'm like uploading the footage right now And this is like before we're going to do anything and I brought this with me to see like I'm just putting in all these like area codes like all the area codes in Florida and I'm gonna see if like I can get a hold of this dude. Let's see. I hope they pick up Hello, Hello? is Walter Elliott there? I'm Derek Bergevin. Oh, alright, thank you. Alright, bye. Hopefully Danny's doing some work over over trying to find his Facebook, but man, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. I got so excited. Amongst our research that is going on here, guys, I think Danny just found the dude's Facebook. 
So what happens is I'm texting Danny right now. So Walter Elliott from Florida lives in North Carolina now. His picture that I'm looking at right now, I'm not gonna show his picture. I'm not gonna like show his Facebook here. He looks the right age. So Danny just sent him a message and we're gonna see if this is him. So it would make so much sense why everything says Florida. It's all old stuff and someone really close, like the city that he lives in in North Carolina is not too far away from where we were magnet fishing. So it would make complete sense that someone like robbed his house, took the jewelry, got scared, ditched it in the lake, and now we have his jewelry. We might get this back to him. Like, I'm so hyped right now. Like, oh man, like this is awesome. Good morning, you guys. It is currently the next day, and we are just about to head out right now to a jeweler. You don't understand how hard it was to find a place to do this. So many people did not want us filming in their shops, but luckily we found a very nice place that is going to help us out a ton, give us a good price, and most importantly, they're going to let us film in there. I'm so excited to figure out how much this stuff is worth. By the way, oof. Look at that. Dude, look at the merch, man. This comes out very soon, by the way. I'll just tell you guys about the merch while we're here. The merch is going to be coming out the 27th. We're doing 35% off for the drop, so you guys gotta stay tuned for the promo code. I'm super excited for this shirt to come out. Like, I've literally been trying to find a merch company for so long. Enough talking. We gotta go pick up Danny, and then we gotta head to the jewelry store and go get this appraised. We just made it to the jewelry store. We are at Raleigh Diamond Fine Jewelry, and we are here with James. And James is going to let us know if any Hello of this there. stuff, or pretty much just tell us, tell us what he thinks about it. Shall I begin here, or we can start uh, wherever? Yeah, wherever we got can. some stuff rolled up in there, like some of the necklaces, and then a lot of so there's a lot of earrings in there. You guys are going to be surprised at how easy this is for us. Wow! So all of this was in one bag. Oh yeah, it was in a duffel it was bag. In one bag. Wow. Way down to the bottom of the brick. That is, you guys must have been like tripping, like, oh my god, what the <laughs> yeah, hell? He was, he was happy. I was watching my video. He was about seizure. I know. Bit. Well, he's, that's his normal state. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's usually how he is. <laughs> and so we're going to couple things here that catch my eye that, that may be gold. Yes, yeah, so some of this stuff might be sterling. Sterling is 92.5% silver. Thank you so much. And an ounce of silver right now is, what, about $15. A large pizza with all the toppings would cost more than an ounce of silver. <laughs> a lot of this stuff just seems like costume jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Costume jewelry is uh, it's everywhere. We see it a lot. Now this might be 10 karat gold. A lot of these class pins and whatnot were. So that might be 10 karat gold. I'll put it over here with this. This one says gold filled, but nonetheless, I'll put it on the side so you know what's gold and gold filled. All right. If I put something to the left, I know with 100% certainty. It is not valuable. It is not a precious metal. It is not silver. Um, awesome. Yeah, that's you know Perfect. you don't want to you don't want to stumble into a position where you're gonna sit here and spend three hours looking through this stuff. You sound confident. I, I, I like it. I've done this yes. so much you wouldn't believe it. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, I started the company in 2008, so that's what 11 years. I guess. Wow. wow. It's nice to have you guys here. I've watched your videos. I find them fascinating. I find them interesting, and I actually enjoy them. <laughs> that's awesome. And, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, this no, it's very true. Hey, this is kind of neat because this is going to be sterling. Yeah, it is all interesting. I mean, you know, this is someone's treasure. Wow, safety deposit box key. Really? Is that what that is? That's there's exactly, two of them in there. That's exactly. There's always two of them, and that's funny. You see the other one, but they always come in two ziggy keys. Really? Yeah. Point and Hopefully, we can get that guy's key back. Yeah, I know. We, we found a dog tag in there, and I, I messaged that guy on the on Facebook. And I, I don't know if all that belongs to him. I just told him something really general. It's like, hey, we found a bag with this in it, and I was I was, I was kind of hoping he'd respond. That'd be kind of cool to get someone his stuff back. Well, years hopefully, later. It doesn't go into his spam box. So basically, uh, nothing here is going to be a valuable gold um, item. I'm gonna take one more look at what we have on, on this side, because some of these commemorative school type pins and whatnot, they, many of them actually were done in 10 karat gold. Uh -huh. So I'll take a quick peek over there. Hey there, I'm in the consultation office with a client. 
clients. We're clients. We're clients. Right. <laughs> this bag doesn't excite me as much as that one. This one I think was just necklaces and stuff. That one had the the you niftier stuff, you if you will. Yeah. You just never <laughs> ever know. Yeah, from our uneducated eyes. My agent, he didn't say anything, that was my opinion. Yeah. This all came from the same bag. Yeah, it's all from the same bag. Yeah. Anything that looks like this that might be a school pin, if you guys want to try to crack this riddle and find out where this stuff really came from, I would put all these, I would consolidate these, take a moment, go through, put all the school medals together, and if you start to see a pattern or a repeating set of initials, mm -hmm. that's going to be helpful. Nothing in here appears to be gold. Oh, man. So that is what we have, Mr. Bryce, Mr. Daniel. Awesome. All right. And we thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to look at your yeah. stuff. And I I'm a big fan of what you guys are doing. And I would be happy to help you with anything, anytime. And I mean that. All awesome, right. Man. Sounds All good. Right. Thank really you. Thank you so that. much. It's a pleasure. Hey, nice meeting you, James. I'm a big fan. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, guys, that kind of stinks a little bit. All oh, the jewelry was not real, he said. He said a lot of it was gold. What is Gold plated, gold, gold plated. filled, man. Oh well, hey, it's still a very good find, and we are not stopping trying to find the owner. We're gonna try our best to find our man's Walter Elliot. But right now, I think we are gonna wrap up the video right here. This has literally been the craziest find we found magnet fishing. Like, I don't think we are ever, ever going to top this find. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like, who who finds a duffel bag with a rock in it? full of jewelry. Granted, none of it was real, but still, just that fact alone is just crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go, so thanks for watching. See ya!